When you have the Department of Education coming out and having to tell people to stop whining about it and stop worrying about it, it's like you got to wonder why the federal government is telling you to just accept it. Wyoming's Board of Education adopted Common Core last spring, and Governor Matt Mead signed it into law June 2012. State Superintendent Cindy Hill, however, voted against it, saying she wanted a more Wyoming approach. And that's one concern mom Michelle Sabrowski has. Who from Wyoming was there when the standards were written? I mean, if it's truly a state-led, shouldn't there be a Wyoming educator or a Wyoming curriculum expert that was there when the standards were written? Natrona County Superintendent argues local educators are very much involved. It does not completely take away our local control and responsibility for how we meet those standards. So in a district that has nearly 13,000 students, one size does not fit all. While most states are on board, others are pushing back. I have serious concerns with Common Core standards and our states rush to implement. It hasn't been tested. They didn't pick like a few school districts across the country to just try it out. They just all went for it and implemented it. But probably one of the biggest concerns some have is data collection. Data has been collected on students, quite frankly, for a very long time. There was data collected on you and there was data collected on me. A lot of the stuff, um, I'm going to argue the school doesn't need to know, but there are things that a school should know. But the school district doesn't need to know those same things, the state doesn't need to know those same things, and the federal government definitely doesn't need to know the same things, and that's the problem. Julie McGee from the Wyoming Department of Education counters there's nothing in any of the data collection reporting that will be different as a result of the adoption of the Common Core Standard. But Sabrowski points to the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium, tasked with the testing end of Common Core. So you can't have the test without the standard, and you can't have curriculum without the standard, and the, stand, and the assessment test both. There's a lot of federal hoops with Common Core and with the Smarter Balance Consortium. Existing data collection educators say is safeguarded and used to improve education processes. We don't collect data to just be collecting it, to just be intrusive. We collect data when there's a legitimate purpose for collecting it. And the state, again, the lawmakers, have established a system of accountability and that dictates the data that needs to be collected. Lydia DeFranchi, News 13, Natrona County.